all right so i want to i want to talk about uh how we attract things to ourselves right and this is very very important this is some powerful stuff right here this is insightful and it's information that's not publicly known readily or easily uh known and you and i are, are somewhat magnetic right uh in the sense that there is a uh there's an element on the periodic table called fluorine. And we know that in 1940, they fluoridated our water as well as toothpaste. And the idea is that it prevents tooth decay. This is what's postulated anyway. Uh, I'm being very sarcastic, as you can see. <laughs> but this is, the, this is what is put forth as the justification for fluor fluoridating uh our water system, water supply, as well as our toothpaste. So the food that we cook, fluorine is absorbed in the food that we're cooking, therefore we're eating it. Uh, when we take showers, baths, uh, any kind, obviously drinking of water. But the reason why I'm talking about that, it, it, it's about how we attract things to ourselves. And the reason why uh, I brought up fluorine or fluoride, uh, fluoridation, is because fluorine on the periodic table its symbol is f its atomic number is uh 18 uh its atomic number is nine its atomic mass is 18 excuse me and uh it is considered the highest electronegative element in terms of its grouping and uh, peri on the periodic table. Of all the element, it has the highest electronegativity. Now, there are so many other properties and characteristics that are uh, considered negative about fluorine, but I, I don't want to go down that road yet. I want to stay on these, uh, this one character, particular characteristic called electronegativity. It was coined, I believe, in the uh, 19th century. I forgot the guy's name, but that's not really that important. Uh, the, 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 the important thing is this electronegativity is an elements or an atom's uh, ability or capability to attract electrons to itself. I'm being very, uh, I'm taking my time here because this is some heavy, heavy stuff. Uh, Electronegativity is the element's ability, potentiality, to attract electrons to itself. Fluorine has the highest electronegativity. Therefore, of all the elements, it has the strongest pull or attractive force in terms of capturing electrons. Why am I talking about this? Electrons are negatively charged particles, ions, anions. They are, again, negatively charged ions. And for very simple lay, lay term, it means energy. Electrons in lay terms are negatively charged energy. These cops was behind me just now turning on their sirens. I was like, oh man, they got me. They're about to pull me over. They see me doing a video here while I'm driving. But hey, they went by me, so we'll continue. But my heart skipped out. I got a little nervous just now. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, I got a little nervous. Like, damn, you know what I mean? Last thing I need is a ticket right now. But anyway. Let me get my focus, your focus, focus. So, e electrons in lay terms, very simple, are negatively charged particles, negative energy. They're, they're energy, they're energetic particles that are considered negative. The opposite of an electron is a proton, which is a positive, a positive charged particle. But, so, fluorine, has the highest electronegativity, which is an element's ability to attract or to pull electrons to itself. Folks, 
I don't drink my eight glasses of water a day that's recommended, but there are some of us who do. Your fluorine intake, the average human consumption, should be no more than three milligrams. Yeah, three milligrams. But there's no way to regulate our fluoridic intake. The reason being is because you might drink more water than I do. I might drink more water than you do. I might take more baths or more showers than you do. So there's no way to really regulate the concentration of fluorine that we're actually ingesting in our system. Uh, this makes it highly uh, suspect, right? Because, and also the quality of water that you're drinking too, right? If you're in poor, dilapidated neighborhoods, you're likely to drink uh, you know, low quality water. You're not going to be able to buy the expensive brand, right? So you're going to just settle for the, the generic or the tap or whatever. So uh, there's no way to regulate the intake and the amount of fluorine that you're actually uh, bringing into your into your body. So if you're so on, let's just say, you know, for argument's sake, uh, you're taking in a lot of water, which we all are because we take showers, we bathe, we cook, and we drink water. So let's, you're taking in not the best quality of water on average. What that means, people, is that you are, you are having, you are taking in a high dosage of fluorine and it is a cumulative toxin. What I mean by that is that it, it cumulatively, it is toxic because over the years, you accumulated in your system, and it is not a, a, a gas that you could pass out through uh, excretion. So a lot of it is retained in the body, and it and cumulatively becomes toxic. But be that as that may be, that's neither still not the the factor that I really want to sink my teeth into. What I really want to bite into is the fact that. It attracts the most electrons on the, ele uh, the element periodic table of all the elements. It attracts the most. What that means is that naturally, naturally, in terms of our uh, vibratory wavelengths, naturally, you and I and all of us who are intaking high doses of concentrated concentra concentration of fluorine, we're naturally attracting and drawing to us negative energy. Your body is a magnet for negative energy. This is why so many people, so many people will have so many problems in their lives. Job chapter, I think it's chapter 5 says that Affliction does not come suddenly out of the ground. Problems don't just come from the dust. Yet men are born unto trouble, surely as sparks fly up from the flames. And what 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 what's that simpli simplicity is that all of our issues don't just arise out of out of the thin air, out of nowhere. All of our problems come from some some thing, some action on our part something but the so the important thing to understand is that we are we are like antennas that in terms of with fluorine in our system we're like antennas constantly signaling out uh an attractive force to the electron or the electronic entities that are floating around in the universe so we're constantly drawing this electronic force to us. And again, folks, electrons in terms of physics, in terms of science, is a negative. It, it resides on the lowest part of the uh, spectrum. It, is the, it resides in negative frequency. So when you're bringing negative energy towards yourself on a daily, routinely basis, 
it's important and vitally important that you know this. And in knowing this, you meditate. You meditate, you meditate, you meditate. You you pray, you stay prayerful. You, you stay studious. You study, you study, you study. You have to combat that. And the, dis, the disadvantage to us is that, you know, if we're just coming into this information at a later stage in our lives, let's say 30s and 40s, you've had 30 plus years of accumulating this fluoridic acid in into our system and consequently or subsequently drawing negative electrons to our uh, brain waves that we are way behind the eight ball. We're starting like not at the, the, the uh, starting line, but we're in negative territory. We're like sub par. We're below the uh, we're behind the eight ball. So we have a long way to go before we even get to the starting line. Right? So this is this is why I wanted to talk about the electronegativity. Electronegativity. Read about that. Electronegatives. It's 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 a very uh, intriguing aspect of science. And an aspect of our scientific nature Because we are scientific We are, you know This is how we function And how we operate scientifically So it's interesting And very important to understand that So that you can start to, to purge to, to, to cleanse And to uh, Awaken yourself to, to The uh, functionalities Of this, this, this universe Till next time, y'all know what I'm gonna do cookbooks, serve y'all some amazing informational meals.